Here we are with Willie Monroe after his fight with Triple G Golovkin. How you feeling, Willie? Feeling good. Feeling good. Just laying back. And hey, we were just talking about it, man. After your fight, um, you know, second round was a tough round for you. You know, you touched the canvas twice, but you right. fought back. You came back and you fought like a warrior. Right. I mean, that's just the type of person I am. You know what I mean? It, you know, boxing is very parallel to life. You know, you get knocked down, you got to get back up and go back at it. I mean, that's, and that's how I view it, and that's how I did it. But as a warrior as you are, um, you told us on True Talk Radio, you know, you wanted this fight from the beginning when a lot yeah. of fighters are running from it. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm considered one of the best top-rated middleweights out there. So, um, you know, if you want to be the best, you got to fight and be the best. You know, I stepped up and fell short tonight. But, I mean, that's, that's, that's how it goes in boxing. You know, you win some, you lose some. But as a man, you also got to feel great in the sense that, you know, you stepped up to that challenge and, you know, you gave a good account of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I really, I really felt good about, you know, stepping up and, and taking a challenge that a lot of other middleweights wouldn't dare come close to, you know, so. And not only uh, the fans, but also your promoter, Artie Paluto, are proud of your effort. Yeah. And even HBO saying they're going to bring you back after tonight's performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I gave that must-watch TV. You know, uh, you know, af after the second round, and I, um, I kept getting hit on the hips and it, like, in the, like around my butt and kidney area. So my whole right leg locked up on me, so I couldn't really move like I wanted to. So I said, hey, forget it. We're just going to take the fight to him, man, you know. Now, you being in the ring with him, man, how did you feel Golovkin's power? He's definitely had good power, but like I said, this is about punch placement. You know what I mean? If you, it's one thing to hit hard, but when you punch it, when you place your punches correctly, it's a lot like Trinidad used to do. Like, Trinidad was one of the best. Uh, Chavez was really good at that. You know, even if they didn't hit you hard, they always hit you in the right spot. You know, so and that's what he's good at, you know, pinpointing shots and, and, and having great punch placement. Yeah, but one thing about boxing is it's probably the only sport where you can win even if you lose. Yeah. And in your situation, you know, you may have lost tonight, but you still won because you won a lot of uh, respect from the fans yeah. and from the boxing world as a whole. Right. Yeah, I'm blessed. I'm tremendously blessed. Um, if God doesn't allow me to win another fight, you know, he's blessed me more than I deserve up until this point. So, you know, I'm tremendously blessed. There's a lot of fighters I wish they could be in a position I'm in right now, you know. No matter how bad you think you got it, somebody got it worse. So I'm tremendously blessed. Hey, but that just comes with the territory is stepping up. You know, a lot of fighters run away from a challenge. You 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 take it head on as a warrior. Yeah, man. My whole career, I've never had you know a, you know a manager or a big promoter to move me to you know fight this guy, fight that guy to build a persona per se. You know, I just I just fight. You know, just like I did in the amateurs. You know, I, I just fight. You know, I've made it this thus far, you know what I mean, to the top of the middleweight division doing that. So I think that says a lot about me and my character as a person. Now, you got stopped in the sixth round, but you went the distance. As we said before, you gave more of a fight than Rubio and a right. lot of other guys, Gil, right. and so on. The list goes on. You know, you actually landed some shots on Golovkin. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, I have fast hands, and, you know, I'm pretty tricky myself. And, uh, you know, I could tell he didn't like it to the body, which is why I tried to stay in the pocket with him and everything. But... You know, it didn't work out as planned. You know, I, you know, I tried to go to plan B, and it was just, you know, a little too much for me tonight. But, it, you know. Hey, the fourth round was probably your best round. There was right. le literally points in the in, in the fight where you were landing shots, and you could hear the crowd ooing and on where yeah. you were catching them flush. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm a top fighter, too. You know, I mean, nobody's going to, you know, nobody in the world is going to walk over. You know, I mean, and, you know, if you look at his face, True. you know, he had mouses up under his yeah, eyes. You know, yeah, he, yeah. you know, he... He know he was in a fight tonight, but I mean, the better man won tonight. You know, I mean, no, no, no way you try to cut it or slice it. The better man won tonight. You know, I take my hat off to him, and you know, I'm just like I said, I'm thankful to God for the opportunity, and I'll be back. Already, and that's why we respect you, you know, because you keep it true. Um, you got any final words for the boxing heads out there, Willie? Uh, God bless you guys, man. Thank you very much, and like I always say, walk by faith, not by sight. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Willie Monroe Jr. Guess he'll be back. Believe it. Yes. True boxing heads, true.